Hello, what is up guys? Evil Do Us Harm here today, back with another Black Desert video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Ocean World Boss Vel. More specifically, if you're a new player or a beginner player, how to get your butt out there, and how to get your butt back to Velia without dying to this boss. Basically show you all the different mechanics that are involved in the boss fight. Real quick, before we get into the video, if you're new to the channel, new to Black Desert, or enjoy the content on the channel, please consider subscribing. I have a ton of different guides on the channel that help you with Black Desert, so please check them out. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into it and let's talk about getting to Vel. So if you have no idea what I'm talking about with Vel, you're going to actually see the boss here in a few seconds. But Vel is located out in the ocean. Vel is north of Okia's Eye. And because of how far north Vel actually is on the map, you will not be able to see yourself on the map as you're navigating to Vel. Which sounds like it could be scary since you won't know where you are if you're getting close. But in all actuality, there's going to be you plus like a hundred other people riding their boats up there. So just follow the caravan of boats as they make their way north to Vel. You'll know when you've gotten to the right spot because it'll look like the Pirates of the Caribbean reunion that never was. Now as far as when Vel actually spawns, I will link this in the description below, but basically this is MMOTimer.com. If you select your server, it will show you the time that Vel spawns. So for the NA server that I play on, it is at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Basically all you gotta do is pick your server. So for example, if you were on the EU server, Vel would spawn at 1600 Central European Time. So once again, this table will be linked in the description below. Now, as far as actually physically sailing to Vel, you have a few different options. The first is you could just bum a ride off of one of your friends or somebody who might be posting in the server chat saying, hey, heading out to Vel, people join me. It is okay to be in a party for Vel because all of the loot is shared depending on how your party does. What do I mean by this? Based on your party's contribution to the Vel boss fight, in your Black Spirit safe, everybody that was either in your party or your platoon, if you go over five people in a party, your rewards will show up in your Black Spirit safe and I will show you this at the end of the video. But you do not have to worry about not even doing any damage. You could literally just ride someone's boat out there as long as you're in their party when they go ahead and get the kill on it. If you want to go ahead and sail yourself out but do not have a boat, you can check out my beginner guide on bartering and watch it till like three minutes in where you'll be able to have a boat at this point. Or if you want to skip the whole bartering thing and just splash some cash, you can talk to the tavern owner Proy, who's located in the Velia Pier down here. So Velia down in the Pier Proy. If you talk to him, click on shop, you will see the ship license for the Bartali sailboat for 10 million silver. This boat has a cannon on it, so if you don't want to do any sailing or upgrading boats whatsoever and just want to have an alt parked out in Vel so that you can log in and swap to it, you can take this junk boat out there, sail it out there, and park your alt plus the boat out there and just swap whenever Vel is spawned. And because of how far away Vel is from Velia, like that is a huge amount of distance you need to cover every single time you want to go out there, it is actually not a bad idea to just take an alt that you don't play sail it out there and drop it and just swap characters whenever you want to run the Vel world boss. Since the loot is sent to your Black Spirit safe and isn't locked in on the character, you can redeem it from your main anywhere in the Black Desert world and all you gotta do is swap characters to kill the boss. But I'm not your dad, I'm not gonna tell you how to play and guess what, I don't do that either because I love sailing and I sail myself out. So anyway, when it is time for the world boss to spawn, Vel to spawn, you're gonna wanna leave the Velia port about 30 minutes before the spawn time. Since this is going to be your first time out there, there is the opportunity to get lost on your way out, so leaving 30 minutes early gives you ample time to make any recoveries or fix any mistakes you might make on your way out. Obviously, subsequent runs you can leave later and later and later, just like you do for school or work every single day. It's human nature to push the bounds of time. So basically though, after you have followed the caravan of boats out to Vel, you will see this scene right here. Basically everybody parked, lining up to get ready. You will either see these pillars of rocks, which means the boss is about to spawn, or you will see a ring of waves. Basically, just park where you see all of the other boats. You can see on my mini-map there are literally like 50 people just right here in this little spot. Park with all the other boats, don't go inside of the white water ring, and don't go inside of the rocks. You will see Vel pop out of the water. It's the big old whale thing that you saw right there. At this point, you need to position your boat so that the broad side of your ship is facing the boss. That is either your port or your starboard, or if you're a landlubber, your left or right side of the boat that has the cannons on it, silly. From here, all you do is shoot the boss Vel over and over and over until phase one of the boss starts. If you're on a boat like the Bartali sailboat that does not have captain's cannons like my boat right here, you will need to manually get off of your boat and shoot the cannons. Or if you brought along a friend, they can shoot the cannons while you drive the boat. Like I said earlier, as long as someone in your party damages the boss, every single person in your party or platoon will get the loot. So I'm just going to skip ahead until the first mechanic now. So depending on how much damage everybody is doing to this boss, but usually around 60%, Vel will enter its first phase where it will enrage. So you get a notification on your screen that says Vel is enraged. You see it kicked me off the ship wheel and I had to jump into the water immediately. 
Whenever you see that pop-up come up, you need to jump in the water. Stop what you're doing. If you're AFK on somebody else's boat, just mooching this one, jump in the water. If you're driving your boat, jump in the water. If you're on a cannon, jump in the water. So from here, you just need to hang out under the water until Vel swims out and attacks everybody's boat and then swims back to his center place. Ideally, you should be looking at the boss, unlike I am in this little scenario. You'll see it the second time it happens. But uh, yeah, at this point, I could have swam back up and I'm stupid. Anyway, once he returns back to his central location, you can swim back up to your boat and continue firing. Continue to attack the boss until the second phase. So spoiler alert, phase two is exactly the same as phase one. This one will happen around the 20 to 30% HP mark. Basically, once again, Vel is enraged, watch out, jump into the water, press the Q key to dive faster when you hit the water so that you go straight down just to help you when you're doing this bit. But basically, if you look at the boss, you will see that he is going to come up, swing out his tentacles, swim towards all of the boats, and then he'll return back to the center. So here he is swinging all the tentacles, passing through all the boats, shooting a tidal wave out, and that's it. He returned to the center. So now you can swim on back up towards your boat, get on it, and get back to finishing off the boss. So all you got to do is shoot him to death at this point. Now, if everyone who is fighting the boss hasn't been doing enough damage to it, he can actually enter a third enrage phase, so you do have to look out for that. But for like 90% of the times you're out here doing the world boss, you'll only have these two to deal with, so you can just freely DPS the boss down till it's dead. But anyway, like I was saying, after the boss has completed, you're going to redeem your items or rewards from the Black Spirit safe. So the icon in the bottom right corner, you will see that we now have a Vel Advanced Reward Bundle that we can open up when we get back to dry land. And as far as getting back to dry land, once again, just follow the caravan of ships back until you can see yourself on the map, or just point your ship directly south on the map and sail down. Pretty straightforward. You'll eventually end up back at Okia's Eye. You can see it straight out in the distance. You can actually see it from Vel, so you should have no problems finding your way back to the island. Obviously, if you're going to be leaving your alt out there, just go ahead and leave it out there and pick it up next time that Vel spawns next weekend. Anyway, guys, if you found this video useful, if it's going to help you to go ahead and run the Vel World Boss, let me know in the comment section below. I try to make it as easy as possible so you could hop on in and get into it. Likewise, if you like the video, make sure to check some of the other videos out on the channel and make sure you're subscribed so you stay updated when new content comes out. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you at the next stream, video, or wherever I happen to see you. Peace.